Well, today on Salty Lass we're doing beef bourguignon and it is the best sort of cooking because it involves cooking things in red wine. Oh yeah. So we'll put the ingredients down below in the description. And what we've got for this is we've got some chopped onion and garlic in there. That's basically a medium onion. We've got some nice pieces of shin in here and you'll notice in the bottom it's a slightly different colour. That's uh, bacon. We've got mushrooms, shallots, stock cube, some thyme, the red wine of course, some tomato puree and instead of thickening it with flour we're going to thicken it with lentils. Um, we will be doing other uh, vegetables with this like potatoes and carrots but they will be done separately because this shin being what it is takes a long time to cook and to save gas, we're going to be doing it in our Mr. D thermal cooker. Now, if you're doing it at home on a conventional kitchen stove, there's no issues. You simply just put it on, turn it to simmer and off you go. But we're in a sailboat. Gas is a big, big thing. Expensive, hard to come by and runs out very quickly. So we will be using our thermal cooker to get it up to cooking temperature and then we'll leave it for two or three hours. So let's get stuck in. I'm not going to pretend there's any great science to this. Quite frankly, I'm just going to bung everything into the dish one after the other. I'm not a big fan of browning meat. All it really does, in my opinion, is dry the meat out, and that's no good. So I'm going to start by putting in the onions and the garlic, which I've done in my little mechanical chopper. Once again, it's a mechanical chopper because it requires no electric, and electric is energy, and energy is everything on here. So if you're at home, you can use some sort of blender or mixer or something, but what I've got here is just literally very, very finely chopped onions and garlic. Right, so in goes the beef. And a bit of uh, bacon. So I'm just going to take the stock cube, break it into little bits because it just makes it easier. Put the time in in a minute, but the bacon, angle the shallots, get it all nicely mixed together. In goes the mushrooms. Pepper. About a tablespoon of tomato puree. Most people would use flour at this point to thicken it. I'll be using about a tablespoon of the handles. And finally, a good bit. Tuck all that in. A bit, a bit more red in, I think. There we go, let's finish the job. And let it simmer. Okay, so it's bubbling away merrily in there. And so it's time now to put it into Mr. D. And we leave it alone for at least two or three hours. Yeah, so um, as I say, she's got the boiled potatoes and the carrots and uh, she's just put um, oil on the potatoes and a little bit of olive oil, olive oil and, and basil. basil on the carrots. Olive oil and basil. So that's that done. So that's going to go just in the grill for a few minutes just to give them a topping. Just to brine them off slightly. So we're just serving up as you can see here. Um, just browning them under the grill um, for a few minutes. Just gives them a lovely finish. It just gives them a little finish. Okay, dookie, so let's see what's in here. Let's 
see what Mr. D has served up today. Look at that! Cool. Right, well, there it is. Um, some beef bourguignon just served with some carrots and potatoes. And shallots. And shallots. And mushrooms. And uh, you can actually see Beverly's uh, shallots. Uh, but doesn't that look fantastic? Fan dabby doozy.